Hello everyone, welcome back to Nomo Studio. So in this video, we'll be tackling the base calculation tricks. Sa part 1 ng video na ito, ay naitackle na po natin kung paano nga ba mag-mental calculate ng percentage. So bali ngayon, base naman po ang ikakalculate natin. Quick recall muna tayo sa triangle of percentage, rate, and base. So this is the percentage, this is the rate, and this is the base. Again, ang percentage, ito po yung result when we multiply rate and base. So we have P is equal to R times B or percentage is equal to rate times base. At ang rate naman po ay makukuha natin when we divide P and B. So R is equal to P over B or rate is equal to percentage divided by base. And we can get the base by dividing percentage and rate. So we have B is equal to P over R. Or base is equal to percentage over rate. Pero sa video na ito ay mag-focus muna tayo kay base. Kasi sa part 1 po natin, nag-focus lang tayo kay percentage. So ngayon, si base ang ikakalculate natin. By the way, if you didn't watch yet the part 1 of this video, you can check the description box for the link. Okay, so let's have our first example. 15 is 15% 15 of what number? Again, ano nga ang ibig sabihin kapag is? Yes, tama. Equal. So we have 15 is equal to 15% of. Kapag of naman, that means multiplication. What number? So, ito yung hinahanap natin. This is the missing. So, let's assume this is x. So, we have 15 is equal to 15% times x. So, meron po tayong gagawin dito para mas masagutan natin ng uh, mabilisan para hindi na tayo makapag-consume ng maraming oras. For formality kasi sa mathematics, ang ginagawa talaga is kinoconvert muna ang rate na ito into its decimal form. Pero dito, hindi na natin i-convert. Kasi nga, ang goal natin is mapabilis ang pagsagot. So, ang gagawin po natin dito is ganito. To solve for the value of x, magdi-divide lang po tayo ng 15% to both sides. So, divided by 15%, divided by 15%. Ang tandaan nyo lang po, ang i-divide ninyong number is kung ano yung katabi nung missing. Diba x yung missing or yung hinahanap natin? Kung anong katabi nung x na yon yung hinahanap ninyo, yun yung i-divide ninyo to both sides. Kasi nga ang goal natin na x na lang yung matitira. Kasi kung i-divide natin itong dalawa, of course, this is equal to 1. So x na lang ang matitira dito. So x is equal to 15 divided by 15%. So ito na yung isosolve natin ngayon. Pero ano ba ang teknik? para mas madali nating masagutan ito. So, always remember na kapag may nakita kayong percent na sign, nangangahulugan po yan na per 100. Kasi yung percent is from the Latin word percentum, for every 100. So, kapag sinabi po pala nating 15%, nangangahulugan po ito na 15 divided by 100. 15 per 100. So, kapag sinabing percent, Per 100. Halimbawa, sinabi nating 2%. Ibig sabihin 2 divided by 100. Kapag sinabing 20%, ibig sabihin 20 divided by 100. Kapag sinabing 75%, ibig sabihin 75 divided by 100. Yan po ang ibig sabihin yan. So, ang ibig sabihin po pala nito, 15 divided by 15 over 100. So, ang ginawa po natin is kinonvert lang po natin ito into its fractional form. So, hindi natin siya kinonvert into its decimal form para hindi tayo mahirapan. Kasi kung decimal, mas matatagalan po tayo sa pagsagot. Now, when we divide a whole number to a fraction, ang gagawin nyo lang po is ikakapi yung numerator. ba ito yung numerator? At ito naman yung denominator. So, yung ating numerator is a whole number at yung ating denominator is a fraction. So, ang gagawin po, copy the numerator and multiply 
no? Imomultiply natin siya ngayon sa reciprocal ni denominator. So ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng reciprocal? If we flip lang natin itong fraction na ito. So that means 15 times 100 divided by 15. So baka may nako-confuse kung bakit ganito yung ginawa ko. Actually, this is the general rule of mathematics when we divide a whole number to a fraction. So kinakailangan kapag tayo po ay nagdi-divide ng isang whole number to a fraction, copy lang yung whole number, then instead of division, magiging multiplication na. At yung fraction, if we flip or pagbabalik ta rin ng pwesto, yung numerator and denominator. So in this case, kinapi natin si 15. Then, nagmultiply na tayo instead of division, tapos pinagbaliktad natin ang pwesto, si 15 and 100. Are we good? So now, we can easily solve this one kasi whole number lang at saka fraction, walang decimal, di ba? So hindi tayo matatagalan sa pagsagot. So kapag ka ganito po, kung ano yung imomultiply natin, di ba 15, imomultiply natin kay 100, tapos magdi-divide lang din naman pala tayo ng 15, I-copy nyo na lang po ito. Ito na yung sagot, which is equal to 100. So parang ganito po. If we have 10 times 35 divided by 10, so nagmumultiply tayo ng 10, tapos magdi-divide lang din naman pala ng 10, ito na yung sagot. Another example. If we have 85 times 225 divided by 85, so ito na yung sagot. Kasi nagmumultiply tayo ng 85, magdi-divide lang din naman pala ng 85, ito na yung sagot. So, ibig sabihin po pala nito dito sa ating problem, itong 100, di ba, ito yung base natin. So, yung 15 pala, ito yung 15% ni 100. Kasi yung base, kapag sinabi nating base, ito yung whole amount. Ito yung totality, kumbaga sa isang problem, whole. Yung 15, ito yung portion. Ito yung 15% ni 100. So, let's have another example. 20 is 12% of what number? So, si 20 daw is 12% ng anong number? So, obviously, ang hinahanap po natin dito is si base. Kasi nga sa part 1 ng video na ito, sa percentage tayo nakafocus. So, ngayon naman, kay base lang tayo mag-focus. Sabi sa tanong, si 20 daw, ito yung 12% ng anong number. So, hinahanap natin yung totality or yung whole amount in which si 20 ay 12% lamang ng number na ito. So, now let's convert this into a mathematical expression. So, we have 20 which is equal to 12% times x. So, palagi ko pong ginagamit si x kasi mas common na po sa akin. By the way, you can use any letters in the alphabet. Or pwedeng si B na lang para base. So now, let's divide 12% to both sides. So divided by 12%, divided by 12%. So this is 1. So X na lang. So we have 20 divided by 12% equal to X. So again, kapag sinabi po nating 12%, ibig sabihin 12 per 100. So we have 20 divided by 12 over 100. So, kinonvert lamang natin ito into its fractional form. Again, ano ang gagawin when we divide a whole number to a fraction? Copy the whole number, which is 20. Then, instead of a division, magiging multiplication na. At i-flip or i-reciprocate, pagbalik ta rin natin ang pwesto, si 12 and 100. So, this will become 20 times 100 divided by 12. So, 20 times 100, that is equal to 2,000 over 12. So, copy na lang natin ito. So, now let's simplify this fraction. Anong number kaya ang pwede nating i-divide kay 2,000 na pwede rin nating gamitin pang divide kay 12? So, kinakailangan po ang ipang-divide natin kay 2,012, ito po yung greatest common factor or greatest common divisor para masimplify po natin ang fraction na ito. 
So, pwede po tayong mag-divide ng 4 kay 2,012. Let's try. 2,000 divided by 4, and that is equal to 500. 12 divided by 4, and that is equal to 3. So, 500 divided by 3 is the lowest term or simplified form of 2,000 over 12. So, now let's divide 500 by 3. So, 50 divided by 3, and that is equal to 16. 16 times 3, and that is 48. 50 minus 48, and that is equal to 2. Bring down 0. So, 20 divided by 3, and that is equal to 6. 6 times 3, that is 18. 20 minus 18, and that is equal to 2. Add 0, bring down 0. So, 20 divided by 3, and that is equal to 6 again. 6 times 3, 18. 20 minus 18, and that is equal to 2. Add 0, bring down 0 again. So, 20 divided by 3, and that is equal to 6. 6 times 3, 18. So, repeating decimal po siya. So, now, ito po yung base natin. 166.67 in which si 20 is just 12% lamang ni 166.67. So, now, let's have our next example. 90 is 25% of what number? So, si 90 daw, 25% lamang ng anong number? So now we have 90 equal to 25% times x. Let's divide 25% to both sides para x na lang ang matira dito. So divided by 25%, divided by 25%. So this is 1. So x is equal to 90 divided by 25%. Again, 25%, that means 25 per 100. So, let's convert this. So, we have 90 divided by 25 over 100. So, again, whole number divided by a fraction. Just copy the whole number. Then, instead of division, magiging multiplication na. At if flip, no, pagbalik ta rin ang pwesto, si 25 and 100. And this will become... 100 divided by 25. So we have 90 times 100, and that is equal to 9,000 divided by 25. So kinapi na lang po natin ito. Actually, dito pa lang po, pwede na nating ma-simplify para hindi na tayo mahirapan pa sa pag-solve. 100 divided by 25, and that is equal to 4. That means 90 times 4. And that is equal to 360. So, ibig sabihin po pala nito, si 90 is just the 25% lamang ni 360. So, let's have another example. 20 is 40% of what number? So, si 20 daw ay 40% ng anong number? Now, we have 20 equal to 40% times x. So, let's divide 40% both sides. Divided by 40%. Divided by 40%. So, now, this is 1. So, 20 divided by 40%. And again, kapag sinabing 40%, that means 40% or 40 per 100. So, we have 20 divided by 40 over 100. So, whole number divided by a fraction. Again, copy the whole number. Then, instead of division, magiging multiplication na. And flip this fraction. So, magiging 100 over 40. So, we have 20 times 100 divided by 40. Now, 20 times 100, and that is equal to 2,000, divided by 40. 2,000 divided by 40. And that is equal to 50. So, ang sagot po is 50. Ang ibig sabihin lamang nito na si 20 ay 40% lamang siya ni 50. So, let's have our last example. 70 is 10% of what number? So, sa 70, 10% lamang siya ng anong number? So, now, convert natin into a mathematical expression. 70, which is equal to 
10% times x. So divided by 10%, divided by 10%. This is 1, so x na lang. 70 divided by 10%. Again, 10%, that means 10% tum or 10 per 100. So we have 70 divided by 10 over 100. Whole number divided by a fraction. So copy the whole number times the reciprocal of this. So 70 times 100 over 10. So dito, pwede na tayong mag-simplify para hindi na tayo matagalan pa sa pagsagot. So we have 100 divided by 10 and that is equal to 10. So 10 times 70 and that is equal to 700. Therefore, 70 is just the 10% of 700. So hanggang dito na muna tayo. But before we end this video, test yourself. 30 is 75%. Of what number? Try to answer this in your scratch paper and comment your answer below. And that's all for this video and I hope you've learned something new today. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, of course, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-install ng ating mobile app, just search Nomo App sa Google Play Store. See you next time. Bye for now.